Hey everyone, James with TFB TV here at EWA in Nuremberg. I'm at the Primary Arms booth with Steven. Steven, you guys have some new optics coming for 2023. What are we looking at today? Uh, we do. Today we're going to take a look at our new Gen 4 SLX 1-6s with our new fiber wire illumination. So super bright illumination that everybody's been asking for. We've got our new 5X micro prisms and we've also got some new pistol dots that we're going to show. Well, let's take them one by one. Cool. Go ahead, get us started. So our new Gen 4 SLX 1-6, it's a second focal plane scope, and then we've got a fiber wire illumination technology in it now, so everybody was asking for like a red dot bright in an LPVO, well we've got it. So single center point illumination, super bright. Um, we've got our UML interface that we're adding onto pretty much all our new products now, so you can add the folding throw lever. Um, what does that mean? What's a UML interface? It's our universal magnification lever. Um, it's a basically a dovetail that allows you to attach different accessories. So if you want a short throw lever, long throw lever, folding throw lever, it adds kind of a suite of accessories to all of our scopes and all the lines. Okay, continue, didn't mean to interrupt. Oh, you're good, you're good, there. yeah. Um, so like with our SLX line, it doesn't come with our auto life technology, but we are introducing a new cap this year. So it's an accessory piece that actually screws onto your scope. It's compatible with some of the other third-party manufactured scopes out there as well. It adds AutoLive technology to scopes that don't have it. And what AutoLive is, is a motion-activated illumination control. So if the gun sits still for two minutes, it shuts itself off. Then as soon as you pick the gun up, it turns itself back on so it's ready to go. You can have it like an always-on configuration for you know, home defense gun sitting by the side of the bed, a truck gun, or anybody in any professional capacity as well. If you put the gun in the safe, it turns itself off. You don't have to worry about your battery dying. What's the eye relief like on this? Eye relief on the one to six is about four inches, really forgiving eye box, super big exit pupil. So you can, it makes it extremely fast. You don't really have to worry about cheek weld so much. Um, you can get behind the gun, run it quick at one power. If you need that extra distance, you can crank it up to six and then all your BDCs come into play. Talk to me about durability, nitrogen purge, waterproof, shockproof. Yep, it's a 30 millimeter one piece tube. Um, we recoil test on 13 inch scar heavies. Um, thousands of rounds through them. The Scar Heavy is known for eating optics. Yeah. Um, and we've got, I think on this thing, 15,000, 20,000 rounds through it so far on that gun. No problems at all. But what about loss of zero? Nope, no loss of zero at all. We have zero impact shift. Um, everything stays exactly where you put it. Super reliable. What's the warranty like on these? Unlimited lifetime. If anything ever happens to it, we'll take care of it for free forever. Okay. And how much does this cost me? You're looking at about 350. Okay. Or actually a little under, about 340 for this. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's move on to the next item here. This is an entry. The Prism, I have really been impressed with. And I have the 3X. Yep. I couldn't believe it, frankly. So talk to us about, before we get into this one, if you could tell everyone generally about the Primary Arms Prism. The, so, your optics. Yeah, it's um, our prisms, our micro prisms specifically, have been one of our most popular products. Uh, we started off with a 1X, then we went over to the 3X to give you a little bit more magnification. Everybody wanted just a little bit more, so now we have the new 5X micro. So the length of this thing, we're just over three inches long. Same footprint as our previous micro prisms with the 1X and the 3, comes with eight different mounting heights in the box. Um, it's also compatible with a whole host of third party. Uh, so it has that the uh, prism footprint, similar to like an ACOG footprint. Mm -hmm. So any of the third party stuff out there will work with it. We're doing two reticles off the bat for the 5X. We're doing a 556 BDC, as well as our new Aurora mill reticle. So if you're a mill shooter, you like to measure in mills and do all your drops in mills, uh, we've got an option for that in a micro prism platform now. And these are going to cost? These are right around 379. How does the price compare to the 1X, 3X? Um, we're looking at about another $40 over the 3X, and the 3X is about $40 again over the 1X. So each time you're adding magnification, you're adding about another $40 to the price. And we've got the same infinity lifetime warranty, Yep, right? same with everything. If it's got our name on it, we'll take care of it. And before we go, we've got one last thing here. Look at that big slick reveal. Right? Smooth. No special smooth. effects there. <laughs> Um, they are new RS-15. So we had the RS-10 previously, which was just a 3 MOA dot with a side-loading battery. Um, we came out with a more kind of competition-driven dot, so a very, very large window. This is also our first ground-up design pistol dot that we put our Vulcan reticle in. Mm -hmm. 
So it's got that 250 MOA outer circle that's designed to fall outside of the field of view. That's something that some of the people here have been kind of confused with, like, I can't see your reticle in the thing. It's supposed to be like that. Mm -hmm. So what that 250 MOA circle does is if you get a bad grip coming out of the holster, you're shooting around a barricade, something like that, and your dot falls outside of the window, with a traditional dot, you gotta sit there and fish for it. Mm -hmm. um, with this, you can see that circle, so you know which way you need to drive the gun to bring it back to center and engage. And personally, I'm very familiar with it. Yeah. I, I think that's one of the most brilliant innovations that I've seen in handgun optics in a long time. I'm, I'm not it's, bullshitting it you. It really is amazing. Yeah, when I first came onto the company, I first thought like, oh, I don't know, this seems like kind of a gimmicky thing. And actually running it and playing with it, like this works. I'm so much faster, first round on target, tracking the dot through recoil so much quicker. And then, like I said, bad grip or shooting around a barricade um, offhanded, you can just pick everything up so much faster and get back on target so much quicker than just a dot. Construction on this optic, what's it made of? Um, we're running 7075 aluminum, top loading CR2032 battery, so you don't have to remove it to replace your battery. Um, really long burn times on the battery, so we have two models, the dot only as well as a Vulcan. Um, we're over a year's worth of runtime on the Vulcan, um, about four years worth of runtime on the dot only. You can turn the outer circle off if you want to on the Vulcan. I don't recommend you do. Keep it on. You never know when you're going to yeah, need sure. it. Um, but super long battery life. And the footprint on this is the DPP or the Seymour footprint. So any of the factory cut guns that are out there running plate systems, people are already making adapters for them. The SIG 320 directs bolts to that um, pro cut that they've got on their guns. And we also ship it with a super low profile Glock MOS um, compatible plate. So okay. you can actually co-witness this thing with stock height Glock sights. You don't need to put suppressor okay. sights on. Okay, all right, that's yep. pretty cool. Yeah. So what are we talking about then in terms of release date for each one of these? And give me price on this if you haven't already. Yeah, um, we're looking right around 379, like 380 bucks for the uh, RS-15. Uh, this will be available a little bit later on in the year. We're looking about mid third quarter. Mm -hmm. So uh, whether that be June, July timeframe. Mm -hmm. um, the Gen 4 SLX 1 to 6, we're looking end of April, early May on mm -hmm. these. And then the 5X is right around that same April, May time frame. Steven, very well done. You obviously have your shit down. You're I squared try. away. I appreciate that. No, I appreciate <laughs> you uh, speaking to us and yeah. the viewers, TFB TV. Guys, stay tuned. We're bringing you more from IWA.